Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Volkov is 31. Belfort is 35. Volkov weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago Volkov. And now it's the corner. Fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Vitor the Phenom Belfort! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be striking advantage on one side, but maybe you lose. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from left. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the goal. Check lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Nice loop and punch. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Alexander Volkov. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his... Oh, the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Look at him whip his hip into that. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the opponent on the floor. to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, knee to the head. Oh, the head snaps back. Another combination of uppercuts and the clinch right to the head. Notice how he's throwing his entire hip into every one of his punches. He is looking to shut the lights out. Right, Five minutes in the books. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Ready? 
All right, let's get to round two. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using... Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Shot to land the kick to the body there by Volkov. Oh, that's a nice strike. Volkov gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's it. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did. Not recognize he's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations, team. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make his, his trust. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, the Octagon, not a great... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! An elbow! Oh, he might be out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Just out of range with that kick attempt. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape. Right this very, very deep. Round three next. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Go, go, go. They're both so skilled. They're both so prepared. We knew right away this is going to be a very evenly matched competition. 
bunches and bunches. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And just like that, the fight is over. One, yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. We set it inside Ladies the octagon for the, the official Jeffrey decision. Jeffrey Here is Bruce Buffer. At two minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander Drago Volpa. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on.